long because I'm talking about something to do with The Bachelor. And it occurred to me that um, aside from the fact that I'm confessing to you that I actually watch, yes, I do watch The Bachelor, and you might think it's a trashy program, but I find I get great insight into the psychology of why people do what they do, why people make choices, how people um, can blow it, how can sabotage their situation. Today. And I want to talk about very kind of very intertwined, very simply think and grow rich. I um, thoughts which are mixed with any of the feelings of emotions constitute a magnetic force which attracts other similar or related thoughts. Hang with me on that. I'll write it down so you can actually. Breathe it in. Today I'm letting you know this is not a tea ceremony. I will not be telling you who Sam is going to choose in the end. This is not something <laughs> you are not watching this to find out. Um, the Belinda, the Belinda's um, future tellings of who is going to win. So cheers to that so sorry so sorry sam so sorry heather lana snazana i'm not going to choose which one it's going to be right why was last night fascinating what do i want to share i'm going to have to cut to the chase because every other message i've just done has been 10 minutes long <laughs> if you haven't watched the program it doesn't matter because what i'm about to share um is probably what is an important message regardless of whether you watch it or not. However, if you have watched it, this will make a lot more sense to you. He had to take these lovely five ladies and determine which four of them he was going to actually meet their parents. In other words, which one am I actually seriously seeing a future with? Not just a, oh yeah, I'm kind of interested, but yes, enough to actually meet their parents. So. Cutting a long story short, the reason why the person, Lana, who was a late comer onto The Bachelor, unlike all, her, all the others, is that she was the only one who actually affirmed their relation, affirmed thoughts that she was the right person, that they were a good match, that his thoughts were good, were the right thoughts, and that they were both on the same page. None of the others actually spent time affirming their relationship. And I want to share with you, for you, in your life, for whatever you're wanting. And if it's a relationship with someone that you think, I would really like to have um, a future with this person, the importance of affirming the same belief system is I cannot say it highly enough because those emotions and that's what I was reading out to you is that the emotions associated with that beliefs form like a magnet to make that action come into being. Your belief systems govern your actions or your inactions, your desire to give someone a call, follow through on something, all based on your belief system of how that person is going to react or not react what you think they think of you. If you can focus on affirming that positive outcome that you're desiring, it is amazing what happens with the other person when they pick up on that. And if it's something that they're, they've got within them, then it also helps to bring and affirm that belief system. Now when people talk about their gut instinct, it's talking about that dominant force within them that's not always to do with logical reason, it's actually got to do with that feeling. And that feeling is based on belief systems that we are continually affirming in our mind. And then it's coming out in our being, in the way we express ourselves. No. I'm not gonna tell you who I'm cheering for, who I hope will win Sam's heart. However, I'd love to hear your comments below are you a secret follower of The Bachelor like myself? Do you find it, I find it fascinating looking at his thought processes and 
and how his thought processes have even changed. And I'll also, in terms of what makes us do what we do and the decisions we make. You really impressed me from the first moment you walked around the corner and you had conversation. And that, that's quite rare. Spending time with you would make me a better person. Actually, yeah. yeah. It really is.